Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Today we're putting together a bit of an odd shell. It's a 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch. Here's where it gets odd. This is gonna be number four buck mixed with a double lot. For double lot, I'm using 32 cal today. I'm out of 33 cal and the 32 cal just fits in two ways. A little bit better in this load. One, uh, it's six pellets by the way. It'll weigh a little bit less for a two and three quarter inch shell and it takes up a little bit less stack height, which allows us to get a nice fold crimp on this. It's 21 pellets of 24 cal, number four buck. They are stacked by rows of seven, three rows of seven, and then six pellets of 32 cal stacked by threes. So 28 pellet load in total, or yeah, excuse me, 27 pellet load in total. The components are real simple, two and three quarter inch brand new prime Fiocchi, 26 grains of long shot, flex seal wad and then the pellets i mentioned a second ago no buffer in this load and if you can see it we have a thin sliver of an overshot card inside and that's it so this video may be a little bit shorter than my usual videos are but that's just due to the fact that this is some, such a simple load yeah really not much to it but um th a load like this is not something i would personally use i would rather stick to straight number four buck or if I was using it, 32 cal, I like the smaller pellets better for home defense. I consider this more of a home defense style load than anything you would really hunt with, but you guys do you. I guess in a way it does kind of make sense for home defense. You have 27 pellets, that's quite a few wound tracks. The larger pellets will carry through a little bit better than the smaller pellets will. That's loud. Anyway, let's get started here. We're gonna need 26 grains of long shot for this. This bottle of powder is dang near empty. There's just a tablespoon left in it, I would guess. This load is gonna be moving about 1150 FPS, 1125, 1150, somewhere around there. So, great home defense speed. I overshot that a little bit at 28, that's okay. If I failed to mention it, this load is one and 11 16th of an ounce. Flex seal wad or FS12, same thing. Now, we need 21 pellets of 24 cal number four buck. This is actually a mix of my stuff I cast myself and Hornady number four buck. The trick to making this load work is you need three stacks of seven rows of seven. And uh, what I do is just drop them in right like that and give it a shake until they find their way. So on top of the number four buck, six pellets of 32 cal. This is actually single lot buck, but I'm using it as double lot today. 32 cal, people consider that double lot or single lot, just depending on who you are. But technically it is single lot, six pellets. That was easy. Now you can use a mylar wrap inside this if you want a little bit tighter pattern, that will help. Buffer will also help, but uh, I'm not using any buffer today because this is more of a home defense style load. Total payload is 1.67 ounces, so basically 1 and 11 16th of an ounce. I tell you what, guys, that other shell, I used a thin sliver of an overshot card, and this one, I'm not going to do it. There's no buffer in this load. It's, again, a home defense style load. What's the point? You know what I mean? So, go ahead and crimp it. We're not trying to keep any buffer in. We're not trying to keep any moisture out. Nothing like that, so... Just go ahead and crimp it. I knew that little hole was gonna be there, but it don't matter. Pretty nice looking shell. I gave it a little bit of a taper with a got BN2, but it really didn't need it. My home defense gun is a pump. You don't really need a heavy taper on it, but I did anyway. If you guys have been around a while and you saw our first few videos, you may have seen one titled the 12 gauge identity crisis load. This is not the first time that I have mixed buckshot sizes. The identity crisis was every size I had available at the time in a three inch shell. It was uh, number four buck, single lot, double lot, and uh, quad buck, if I remember right. Triple lot may have been in there too. I can't remember, it's been almost two years. But that was the worst patterning shot shell that either me and Josh, me or Josh have put together. It was absolutely terrible, but it was pretty cool to look at and uh, got some pretty good laughs from my friends. I actually remember Josh taking one of those that we put together and, you know, 
He's a painter. He was going around showing all of his friends and people he was painting for the weird looking shell. It's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. And if you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month and you guys get early access to content. A link to that as well as a link to our Instagram and Rumble accounts will be in the description below. But other than that, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.